Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mitakshi Bhatt. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to talk about choosing the right marketing campaign. So there will be series of videos in this again. In this particular video, we are going to talk about what marketing campaign is, what you want your digital marketing campaign to accomplish. So this will be done by identifying the objectives as that would indicate the kind of campaign you would opt for. Establishing objectives and KPIs, that is the key performance indicators, are essential for any digital marketing activity so that you can keep a track upon it. A clear strategy reduces the waste and increases the focus. For example, before starting any blog, you would open a Pinterest account and start ga gathering the email addresses, etc. Now when you're clear on what you want to achieve or what is your goal, you would put your time and energy on the right kind of a marketing strategy and the tactics that you would imply in order to accomplish your goal. The objective that you decide for any digital marketing activity should be SMART. We have studied it earlier also. Uh, SMART means specific, measurable, uh, attainable, relevant and time bound. Now the six common goals which will help you strategize your digital marketing activity are A. Increasing problem and solution awareness. Now the general rule says the more aware your customer is of their problem, the more clear you will be in marketing your product or services as a solution provider. Therefore, the online marketing can help your prospective customer to become aware of something they need, which is known as problem awareness. So here, your marketing can help or uh, make your prospective customer aware of yourself, your products or services as a solution provider, which is known as solution awareness. So in this case, you aim to help people realize that you can take them from a state which is the before state where they are having a problem to a state known as after state where their problem has been resolved by your solution. This already I have discussed about this uh, the journey from a before state to the after state in my previous videos also. Please refer to that. Now, why it is necessary to create such awareness? There can be two states. State one where the prospect has sensed that he has a problem but is not aware that there is any solution. State 2, prospects is fully aware of what he wants as a solution but he is not aware of you or your existence as a solution provider or your products or services existing in the marketplace where he can get the desired solution. Basically, by all this, you are giving your prospective customer a very good reason to opt you or buy your products or services. At this stage, you need to ensure that your content educates your prospective customer regarding his problem and the solution both. Number two is acquiring new leads and customers. This is the primary objective or the cornerstone of digital marketing. It is very essential to bring the new blood to scale your business. Lead generation is the process used by businessmen to attract the potential customers and also nurture them through the sales funnel and ensure that they are ready to pay for the products or the services you are offering. Example, providing them with some kind of a sign up form, etc. Number three is activating leads and customers. Lead activation involves the process of engaging with the potential customers before the purchasing intent. Basically, it is the ability to maximize the revenue from the customers who are already on the website or an application, etc. Now, if you have been in a business for more than few months, then there may be leads who have uh, not bought your products for some time or are yet to buy the products. Here, digital marketing campaign can encourage them to buy first time and even encourage those who have not lately bought your product. Your digital marketing campaign must activate the dormant leads or the customers by reminding them of the value your products or the services offer. Number four is monetizing existing leads and customers. 
Acquiring new leads is expensive and time taking. In, in this case, the existing customer leads can provide you a valuable pool of opportunities for upsell, cross sell and other such offers which are necessary for, to increase or maximize the sale of your products or services. This is necessary for generating revenue from your existing uh, leads and customers, especially when your uh, business is offering a more complex product or service than you normally offer or you're selling something more than you have already made your customer aware of. The monetizing campaign therefore should uh, excite and should ascend the customer for the higher level of purchasing. For example, a buyer of a Rolex brand may buy the same brand watch multiple times and even go for the most expensive uh, range too. Number five is onboarding new leads and customers. New customers are special. Therefore, they need to be made aware of you as a brand or the product or the service that you provide. At the same time, you need to nurture them and also proactively guide them to how to be successful with what they have bought. A customer is on board A, the moment they sign up, B, the moment they see success and real value potential with a relationship with you. To achieve this, many people use onboarding software such as WalkMe, UserPilot, WhatFix, etc. These can help with email series, video tutorials, and so on. It is at this time that you need to ensure that the customer's needs are met because it's like planting the seed which will flourish slowly. It is essential that the onboarding services should be accessible and should be able to repeat so that the people who are new to try your products or service can go for it. Over here, you need to gain trust of your audience and ensure that you will strongly and dedicatedly associate with the promises that you have made and further welcome new customers with excitement and engagement and bring clarity with what they can expect or where they can go if they find any problem with any kind of a purchase if needed. The last step is building community or advocacy. Here, the main objective is to build a brand of right or die followers who can readily advocate you on social media. You need to build campaign that can make community of advocates or promoters. Therefore, social media is one such platform to go for the same. Building a community is a long-term investment. Therefore, join communities of customers or be a part of social media, hashtags, groups, etc. Now, your community is not the same uh, as people who are following you or liking your products or services on the social media. But rather, take action on your behalf by giving their time. This fandom does wonders in business loyalty and advocacy. Two two points can be reward your super users in your community. Give them regular updates. Implement community feedback and proactive support to elevate their pain points. Thank you.